You've captured the ceremony, but the big day isn't over yet. You'll still need to get the reception in order to seal the deal. The reception is going to focus heavily on toasts, interviews, and everyone having fun, which includes the dance floor. Every reception is different, and they all have their own set of obstacles to overcome. The most common is the toast. You're going to want to find out who's giving the toast, so that you can mic them up and frame them well beforehand. And I love you guys both, and I hope that you have a wonderful life together. I really do. You'll want to capture lots of B-roll of cutaways and detailed shots that will help you out when it comes time to put it all together. You'll want to get shots of flowers, the tables, presents, and the cake. Basically, you'll want to cover anything and everything that will give you an overall vibe that will be the most ideal to splice into the wedding video. It's also a great idea to grab items to put together shots, like a setup shot of the wedding rings with the centerpieces on the tables. Get creative. Probably the most entertaining and unique part of any wedding video production is the guest interviews. Now it can be very difficult to get a good guest interview, but if done right, it can be the selling point of your DVD. First off, you don't want to force anyone to talk on the camera. Have questions prepared and use a handheld microphone. Now your onboard microphone won't do the trick and using a lapel mic requires a lot of setup and will be intrusive to your wedding guests. So instead, get creative and ask the DJ to announce that you'll be coming around to interview guests. Kids are always a great icebreaker. Let one of the children participating in the wedding choose the interviews. Ask leading questions to help open the interviewee. Some great leading questions are, what do you think Jared should do to keep Lisa happy? What do you think Jared and Lisa will be 10 years from now? What do you think Lisa loves most about Jared? There are two common lighting setups for shooting a wedding reception. The first and most ideal is to get away from the crowd and do a three-point lighting setup. If you can't do that, an on-camera light would be best. Because receptions tend to be fast-paced, it can be very difficult to set up a three-point lighting for interviews, but it can be really nice as well. What's nice about it is it separates the guests from the wedding and allows them to get comfortable. It's also an area that has less noise than the middle of a reception. However, if you can't do this, another good option is your onboard light. This is preferable especially when you have a dimmable LED as it allows you to adjust the light and the good news is they don't produce any heat at all. One of the most important yet difficult things to capture at a reception is the dance. Because of this, you want to make sure to work with a DJ so you can get some good lighting, and if he doesn't have any, bring your own. Also, when it comes to cameras, you want to make sure to have a rover to get the tight shots and another one to get the wide. Remember, you're there to make sure you capture everyone having a great time. So by getting plenty of footage of the reception and lots of great interviews that are lit well and composed correctly, you'll ensure that you have plenty of footage to make a great wedding video.